Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to backup AWS EC2 instance using AWS Backup. Well, AWS Backup was uh, launched last year and uh, over, more, over than uh, 20,000 AWS customers were protecting petabytes of data every day. So what is AWS Backup? AWS Backup is a fully managed centralized backup service, simplifying the management of the backups of your uh, EBS, Elastic Block Stores, Volumes and Databases, Amazon RDS or Amazon DynamoDB, Amazon Storage Gateway, Amazon EFS as an Elastic File System. So earlier, what it what used to do that we used to only backup EBS volumes using the AWS backups. But now after the concerns of the customer, AWS backup supports backup of the EC2 instance backup. So backup and restoring an EC2 instance requires additional protection than just the instance individual EBS volumes. So we can, while we restore, we can create an identical instance in the VPC security group and the IAM role. So there has been an ability added to perform the backup and recovery task on the whole EC2 instance. And when we'll backup the EC2 instance, AWS backup will protect all the EBS volume attached to the instance. And once the backup is complete, we can easily restore the full instance using the console API or AWS CLI. So let me just log on to the AWS and proceed further. I am logged on to the instance and let me just first of all launch an EC2 instance quickly to proceed with the backup. Here it goes. I will go on to the EC2 console and uh, launch an instance. I am in the Northern Virginia region which is US East 1. You can be in the any region. Click on launch instance. Let's go with the Linux, which is a free tier eligible to quickly launch and proceed with the backup. I am going with the general purpose T2 micro instance details. I am going to launch in the VPC. I am not I'm modifying any entry here. I'm going with the default storage as well. I'm not adding, adding any tags, the custom port. If I have this, I let it create a launch visit one. Click on launch. Let me check if I have this keep here or not. If I have the keep here, launch instance. Till the time it is launching an instance, let me let us go to the AWS backup. Here it is. Just type in the name of the service in the search box and you will be redirected to that service. <clears throat> AWS Backup centrally manages and automates the backup services. We create a backup plan, we assign the resources and the, we manage it. So create a backup plan. Start from an existing plan, build a new plan. Let's build a new plan. Assert backup plan. You can name it anything. Backup rule name. Assert backup rule. Let's, it, it depends upon you. How do you want to do it? You want to backup it daily? You want to backup it weekly? Let's go with weekly every Saturday or every Sunday you can select multiple days as well use backup windows defaults if you want to enable the life cycle rule or not we can discuss this later the, the backup create the new backup vault so backup is stored in a backup vault so you can you can assert backup vault create a backup vault you can create separate vaults uh, in which region you want to copy it I don't want to copy it as of now so specify the region to which the backup will be copied to 
it means replicating your backup geo replication you want to add to the recovery point you want to do it not if you're through with all the thing click on create a plan your backup plan is created and this is your backup rule you can edit the rule as well if you click on here go back to your backup plan you have not assigned any resources so if you would see your ec2 in the separate window you would see your launched instance that you have just launched a few seconds ago you have one running instance here you go so note down the instance id go back to your backup if you will click on assign resources here resource assignment name you can assert resource assignment you can name it anything plan it accordingly you want to assign by tags or resource id i'm going to go with the resource id my resource type is my ec2 so initially uh last till last week or maybe few weeks ago ec2 option was not available you would see ebs the ebs volumes you would see the ec2 efs rds and the storage gateway but you would not see ec2 but this feature has been added select ec2 loading so it would load the instance which are in this region so if you would try to back up the resources which are in us west or asia pacific then you would have to go back go to that region create a backup plan and then the resources would show up click on here click on assign resources a resource has been assigned and if you would go to the backup rule you can edit the backup rule if you want to take the backup now so frequency custom crone expression you want to set up set it up you can have the custom crone expression as well if you want to do it daily or on uh, weekly basis you can do it so that's how you would uh, take the backup and configure the backup plan so i hope you uh, noticed this thing so in the next video we will see how to create an on demand backup and how to restore the backup and on to the next video so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any concerns any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye